Praise the Lord. Today I'm going to talk about a topic called uh, church. Um, let me tell you in this morning time, this is not going to be a sermon. Rather, it is going to be a teaching session. You know, sometimes we need a teaching session also, right? The thing is that if you don't clearly understand the doctrine of the church, such as the meaning and the message and the mission and the identity and the authority of the church, you know, the time we spend over here will be, you know, utter meaningless. The point which I am going to make today, it's not going to be a new thing. But at the same time, it is always good to be, good to go back into the basics. And uh, we will learn and uh, sharpen our focus uh, in relationship uh, with the word of God. Today, because of the lack of time, as I already said, my topic is about the doctrine of the church. And today, I'm going to talk about the two um, subjects from out of that. The meaning and the mission of the church. Can you say meaning and the mission of the church? Praise God. I wanted to give you a definition about the church. So this is my own definition. So church is the territory of heaven where God directly reigns and rule over the earth which is the kingdom of God. Once again, I will repeat. Church is the territory of heaven where God directly reign and rule over the earth, which is the kingdom of God. Hope you understood. So my message would be uh, in regards within relationship with uh, this topic or this theme in this morning time. As I already said, Today we are going to talk about the meaning and the mission of the church. If God willing, next week we will continue with uh, this subject. So we will start with the setting of this passage. Now Jesus is bringing his disciple into a place called uh, Caesarea Philippi. Caesarea Philippi. So the importance of this place um, as I was um, researching about this place, it is located on the north side of uh, Galilee, almost 25 miles on the northern side of Galilee. If you know the Bible, there is a, another um, Caesarea we see in Acts chapter 8 and all we see. But this is totally different Caesarea. This is Caesarea of uh, Philippi. So basically, so Philip is come, so uh, of course, the Greek uh, 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 king, uh, emperor, Alexander the father was a Philip. So hopefully the Philip was uh, established. This is city called the uh, city of Philippi. And um, the uh, significance of this city is, as I already mentioned over here, there are four temples were um, assisted on those days. And uh, those temples were, one of, one of the temple was, Temple of Augustus Caesar, the, the temple for Augustus Caesar. And this temple was uh, built by the King Herod. And uh, there is another temple called uh, Temple of Rock of Gods. It is a, uh, a, a temple for the God of Zeus. It's a Greek God, uh, Greek God Zeus. Surya Devan and the Namala Malayalatil Kelkana Devanan is Zeus. And the Varanyal Ella climate in the calamities in the Okadeva and the Greek Rubisho taken the Deva. Otherwise, there are another two uh, temples, those temples called the two dancing god temple. And this temple uh, is for the god of Pan. It's a god of Pan in the Varena. This is a, another Greek god in those days. This god is a uh, half man and a half. Um, God and Anna, they, they describe this God as a half man and a half God. And uh, the, the, the story of uh, this God is uh, just like uh, our Kerala Mahabali. This God, in every winter, this God will go back into um, Hades. And uh, this God will come back into every springs. And uh, no, every springs, this God will emerge 
from the Hades and um, this God will fertilize the land. And uh, so this God is a God of fertility. Fertility cult in the Oru Deva Maitana, our Vishwasi Chirana. So that's, uh, you know, the point what I wanted to mention, this God of Pan and Alingil, there in, on this city itself, this city of Philippi itself, uh, there is a real place called uh, Hades. You know, there was, if, even if you go, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know how many of you been there in this place before, uh, previously, uh, uh, you know, if you go to this place, you will see this uh, city had an uh, exact place called uh, Hades. All right. So, after all, the conclusion of this, uh, the, the point what I wanted to mention, this is one of the darkest region on, of the earth on those days. The people and, and this place, you know, there, there was no Jewish uh, settle down over this place. Only the Hellenistic pagan Gentiles settle down over this place. And they widely uh, practice sorcery, witchcraft, and uh, occultism over this place. So this place is basically, it's a very darkest region of the earth. But there is a good news from that verse. It says, Jesus is bringing into this darkest region of the earth on those days. And uh, Jesus is transferring a greatest revelation in the book of the Bible. The Bible, the revelation about the Jesus, uh, the revelation of the church, which are uh, transferring to the disciples. Hallelujah. In this morning time, let me tell you in this morning time, sometimes you might think you are in the darkest time of your season or darkest place in your lifetime. But let me tell you, this is the place which God can transfer some greatest revelation on your place. How many of you believe? Praise the Lord. Manislaga Turku and Urikil Kudaparayam, Jeeva Tinde Irunda, Mantalangaluda in the Rapthri in the Pagal Katana Vogana, Deva Maklod in the Rabalur, Dudu Parayavanula, Ipregara Mana, Stoda, Jeeva Tinde Irunda, Mantalangalana, Yet to Adi Vishud, Adi Vishalamaya, Yet to Arda Maria, Devi Gavilipada, Deva Kaimarna, the in the Rabal Marno Vogada. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God always. Reveal the greatest revelation while you go through the darkest moment of your life. That's why the Bible says, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will not fear any evil. Because that is the time I am going to see the greatest revelation from God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me come back uh, into this uh, uh, passage. Hallelujah. Over here, Jesus is mentioning about the uh, about the church so we will study about the meaning of the church so when we talk about the church the greek word for the church we all know what is that ecclesia all right ecclesia when you study about the ecclesia ecclesia basically uh, uh, you know let me tell you um, in those days in jesus time there were uh, Three major institutions or entity were there, you know, three major institutions in Jerusalem and surrounding place. One was, of course, Jerusalem temple. And the second one was, of course, the synagogue. And the third one was um, uh, Ecclesia. You know, um, you need to come with me so that you can understand what I'm going to say. Of course, temple, Jerusalem and the synagogue. These both are the religious places on those days. At the same time, Ecclesia was not a religious place. Ecclesia was purely, it was a secular place. It was purely a secular place. It is a type of uh, government governed by people in those days. Um, I can, you know, Jesus' time, uh, you know, the Roman emperor was... Uh, Ruling over the country or ruling over the nation, ruling over the world, basically. No, right. At the same time, the, the, the concept of Ecclesia was founded by Greek in um, BC 594. So uh, this was founded in Athens, classic Athens. So in those days in Athens or in Ephesus or in Corinth, there were uh, 
ecclesia no there were a type of government governed by people in those cities in those days in greek uh, time uh, while during the time of alexander the great all right but after that you know after um, after the greek uh, uh, emperor got collapsed now the roman emperor came uh, into power now um, the roman emperor um, made a newer version of ecclesia newer version of ecclesia uh, uh, it was something like you know uh, the roman emperor delegates um, 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 you know delegate a, a group of sailors the roman citizens citizens uh, probably such as um, carpenters masons um, doctors nurses uh, teachers and uh, you can just name it uh, all these people were the group of sailors so you know you you uh, you know you collaborate everyone together and um, uh, along with uh, food and uh, other materials they they used to go to the different foreign land you know they sail into different foreign land you know what they are going to do after they reach onto the foreign land they began to build a, a roman colony on the foreign land right so as a result you know you know the first thing they 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 build uh, bridges or uh, they build um, hospitals or uh, schools or they build um, um, you know they build uh, uh, everything you know they literally build a, a ditto of a roman city in the foreign land not only they build a physical structure also they influence the people in the foreign land that is another thing they influence the people in the foreign land as a result they teach a new language to them that is called of course the roman language is a latin so they have to learn you know they teach a latin language and they you know they infuse a new culture the roman culture upon this place upon these people as a result the foreign people they began to eat uh, roman food they began to eat uh, um, uh, you know uh, uh, they began to speak a roman language they began to dress like uh, romans and uh, it is it is become a full of uh, roma rome and uh, they made a roman colony uh, until you know they, the foreign land or or this colony or this territory speak act and think just like a romans hope you understood so this was the exact uh, ecclesia on those uh, days you know after you know after roman emperor got collapse on the 17th century the britishers came into power you now they copied the same version of ecclesia as a result we know in us or india or africa you now we all were the british colonies you know i don't i don't think so in anybody lived on 1945 or before uh, but still we we learned or learned from the history that we all were under the british rules and uh, many of our forefathers speak a very good english than us because they the the britishers teach us to speak english britishers teach us to wear pants and shirt britishers uh, you know you know they teach us to eat some british food right so all right whatever it is so what i meant was you know exactly you know few years ago i went to kenya so when i went to kenya you know the people even in the rural place they can really speak a very good english you know the language is swahili but they can really speak a very good english because that was the british colony in few you know a century years ago right right so what i said this was the kind of ecclesia that uh, jesus when he was telling about i will build my church this was the concept this was the thought what jesus had in his mind so i hope you are coming along with me all right now jesus is telling here i will build my ecclesia all right so that's what i already said this ecclesia when jesus said uh, when i when i'm going to build the ecclesia i will build the direct territory 
of the kingdom of heaven on the earth. Hope you are getting me. Praise the Lord. When Jesus said about the ecclesia, his concept was, I am going to build a direct territory of the kingdom of heaven on the earth. You know, three and a half years, Jesus taught about the kingdom of God. You know, kingdom of heaven, or in Matthew, we say kingdom of heaven. So, probably we are thinking about the kingdom of God or heaven, which is going to come up, you know, in the future. No. Jesus, you know, when we read the Matthew, the book of Matthew, we will see those, those verses. The, even Jesus said, the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Again, Jesus said, Verily I say unto you that there may, there may be some of them that stand here which shall not taste the, of death till they have seen the kingdom of God come with the power. Praise the Lord. So whatever Jesus said, Jesus was mentioning about this kingdom. The kingdom, the kingdom of the church or the kingdom of heaven which is on this earth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I made a, uh, uh, you know, I made a beautiful statement over here. Church is the only institution in the world that has a direct branch in every community and uh, neighborhood. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Church is the only visible unit of the kingdom of God in, uh, on their earth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That means, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we became the part of Ecclesia, you know, we need to experience the glimpse of the heaven in our day-to-day -day life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bible says the kingdom, the heaven, in his presence, there is a fullness of joy. And in his right hand, there is a pleasure for evermore. Right? So Bible says, wherever two or three gather, I am there in their midst. That means now when Ecclesia gather together, the kingdom of heaven come upon on this Ecclesia. And we have to experience that real joy in heaven on this earth. Praise the Lord. I Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Deva Sapa in the Parinal. Sorgatile Stother. Sorgatinde. Alleged Sorgate Pumiude. Territory Aki and Deva Sabe Devi Pumi Aki. God established a church over this place as a territory of the kingdom of heaven. Can you say, Praise the Lord? Yani teaching in the Varanjo and Dan, English teaching moodily again. Sotra, praise the Lord. He teaching in the Varanjali, the Nagatu Kerry, I like teaching in the Langota Gator to Verde, Vitipo and the Water Lost Sotra. He did Nagat in the Rabbit, the Kelkum Ball, E. Chinda, E. Velipad in the Rabbit, and Upovicum Ball, Kelkum Ball, he did Nagate, Davigas, Mirab, Irabella, Prabikin, and Gilmatra Meolo, he do the Namaka Prayana Patola, Ligag, Erikimatra Prayana Patolo. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Santosh to Sotra Paradata. Praise the Lord. If who will Devan the Mayaki, Vichirik in the Stotra, Ab Deviga, Territory, the Pagamaki Deva, if who will the Mayaki Vichirikian Stotra. That means uh, we are the territory of the kingdom of heaven on this earth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me go ahead, Stotra. I will, when Jesus said, I will build my ecclesia, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Who owns this ecclesia? Who owned this church? Let me tell you, he is the one who paid the price for Ecclesia. Praise the Lord. He is the one who paid the last blood for this Ecclesia. 
Praise the Lord. You can say, Stotra, this is the church of Pastor Akilas or Stotra, Pastor Joji Matthew or Pastor Aligil Stotra. No, no, no. This is not the church of any of us. This is the church of the of Jesus Christ alone. He is the sole owner of this big church. How many of you believe in this morning time? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Apol Eshikatau Parayanu. I will build my church. I will build my ecclesia. That means uh, this is the mission of Jesus Christ that He is building ecclesia over this earth. As a result, we we saw that we became just a part and a parcel of this great commission. For a great mission. Let me tell you in this morning time. We are not the people who is building the church. We are not the people who is doing anything. We are just the partakers of the great kingdom of God. Great ecclesia over this earth. He is the one who paid the price for this earth. You know, when Jesus said this statement, when I will build my church, as I already said, there was four temples were located, you know, was there assisted on the place called Caesarea of Philippi. On those days, the God of Pan or God of Seuss, they were the great God or God for the Greek people. Stotra. And now Jesus Christ said, tell me, praise the Lord. Oh, I will build my ecclesia over here. No powers of the Pan or no powers of the Seuss can prevail against Okay. Praise the Lord. No, I said a lot of things, right? What is Ecclesia? It is a territory of kingdom of heaven over this earth. Praise the Lord. So we all are the part of the Ecclesia. Ecclesia is not a big building. Or Ecclesia is not a building. Rather, Ecclesia is Avi. Ellerum parnyate. Nyan ana Ecclesia no parnyate. Ellerum no parnyate. I am the Ecclesia on this earth. Parnye. Ora ba shamthara. Adu parayam bringi lori vuli pad ni ravale vuli padate. Ora ba shamthara ba. Yena marvi chiri kya ni ravale. Yamdengi lono prabhi chetni ravale lono madaguvar. Al maavil ni ravale. Stoda parnyate. I am the Ecclesia of this earth. Ora ba shamthara ba. If I am the ecclesia of this earth, let me tell you, Stotra, no powers of the Stotra, the principalities of the world can prevail against me because I am the ecclesia of this earth. He is building all this ecclesia on every day. Stotra, Nyan Agna Sabi Pariana, Oriva Nenoda, in the Ravala Dudu Pariana, Nyan, Nina Pariana, Bazar Gopriyalka, Agna Jay Kalgariatilla, Lamsha Dara Baba, Diam Tare, Eshu in the Namatil, Eshu in the Namatil, Alma will in the Ravala Duda, Eshu in the Namatil, receive the daughter. Lori be Antaraba, in the Nana La Parino, the Pastor La Parino, in the Deva Man, in order for the Nana Parino de Omar. I will build you, I will build the Ecclesia. Oh, Rabaturi Antaraba, issue in the Namatu, issue in the Namatu. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, when Jesus said, I will build you, he will build you. He will not say lie. So, he cannot change his words. In the Ravale Paniana when the Karangal in the Ravale Epichurto, Avanina Paniana Deoma, or a prophetical word, if I can a young people order, or young men order, young woman order in the Ravale, Alma Bin and Pariana. God is the one who is building you. He is the one who is building you in this every time. Yield in the presence of God. O Rabba Shamtara Dara. Padi ini nampaknya kerang ini dia ambil air pihak, abang ini nampak dia, abang ini nampak dia, abang ini nampak, wow, Alleluia, udah ibat ni ubah rana mak kita ubah lagi. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, Alleluia, praise the Lord, Alleluia, praise the Lord. Time is running up. The second point, as I already said, what? Ecclesia, the church, the meaning of the church. Praise the Lord. We are the church. We are the church 
ണെങ്കിൽ ഈ ഭൂമിയിലെ സ്വർഗത്തിന്റെ ചെറിയുടെ ഭാഗമായിട്ടാണ് ദൈവം നമ്മെ ഇവിടെ ആക്കിയിരിക്കുന്നതെങ്കിൽ ആ ചെറു ചെറിയുടെ ഒരു മഹത്വം ഞാൻ കൊണ്ട് പറഞ്ഞു ദ ജോയ് ഓഫ് ദ ലോഡ് അങ്ങനെയാണെങ്കിൽ ഇന്ന് രാവിലെ ജോയ് ഓഫ് ദ ലോഡ് അനുഭവിക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്നില്ലെങ്കിൽ എക്ലീസിയായി നൗട്ടാണെന്ന് അർത്ഥം ഈ രാവിലെ മടങ്ങിപ്പോൾ മടങ്ങി ചെല്ലണം ഈ രാവിലെ ആ ജോയ് ഇന്ന് രാവിലെ അനുഭവിച്ചിട്ടേ ഇവിടെ മടങ്ങാവുള്ളൂ you need to experience the joy and the presence when you experience the joy and the presence oh, in the midst of every struggles in the midst of every demonic activity oh you can experience the peace you can experience the oh the joy you can experience the grace you can experience the glory you can experience the shikena oh you can experience the mahatam in the rabul anubhavikkuvan kediyo in the midst of every activities of the of the demon oh you don't need to be afraid because you are ecclesia hallelujah raba shantara baba praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord the second point what is the mission of ecclesia praise the lord praise the lord what is the mission of ecclesia let me finish very quickly stotra the ecclesia that words itself the meaning of that words it is called out to one for a special purpose when you became a member when you became ecclesia you have a purpose to fulfill on this earth can you say there is a purpose rebecca praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord god never call anyone without any purpose let me tell you the brothers and the sisters praise the lord the young men and the women those who are sitting over here let me tell you you have a purpose to fulfill you have a mission to do in this earth because you are ecclesia you have a purpose you have a special purpose on this earth ஒரு சோத்திரம் பர்ஞ்ஞாட்டே what told the purpose you have on this earth matthew chapter 28 verse number 18 19 we know the last commandment jesus said the all authority in heaven and earth has given unto me therefore make disciple of all nation baptize them in the name of the father son and the holy spirit and teach them to obey everything i have commanded you hallelujah from that words i wanted to point out at least the five fold purpose of ecclesia in this morning time five fold mission of ecclesia the number one mission of ecclesia the number one purpose of ecclesia is the the first word says all authority in heaven and on earth has given unto me that means praise the lord who is the owner of ecclesia say unu parnjate Jesus Christ is ecclesia so there is a mission for ecclesia that we need to exalt the name of Jesus on a everyday basis or sotra thodu sotram parjate praise the lord we have a one the first purpose of ecclesia is that we need to exalt the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah let me ask you the brothers and sisters the worship team how can you exalt the name of uh, jesus christ not only over here no every day basis how can we exalt the name uh, of jesus christ praise the lord in acts chapter 13 verse number 2 in antioch church you know while they were worshiping the lord and uh, fasting you know that is then you know, we see the nature of the church on the first century the nature of the ecclesia while they were worshiping and fasting holy spirit said set apart for me barnabas and saul for the work which i have called them praise the lord praise the lord how you can exalt the name of jesus the simple answer you need to worship the lord praise the lord praise the lord the worship is the time that you are exalting the name of jesus christ praise the lord adagondana namukku english la malayalathile pala stotra worship thane ee 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 rendu manikurinte agathu thane egadesh oru manikurolam aaradhanayana because that is the prime thing that we are 
gather over here in this morning time. We are exalting the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. We need to worship God. That is the first mission of the church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Naam devate aradikinna deva That is the first duty of the church. Second, praise the Lord. The word says, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Iruthi etamadhi aichil namalu kandu padam. Ipragaramana stotra. All authority given unto me. Therefore, make a disciple of all nation. That means uh, evangelization. Evangelizing the whole world is the second duty of the ecclesia. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 1 verse number 8 says, uh, You will receive the power when the Holy Spirit come upon you. Stotra, so that you will be my witness in Jerusalem, in Stotra, Judea and Samaria and the ends of the earth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shakti Ningadamel Virimbol. In the Ravali Namal Ketar and the You need to be a you need to be witnessing Jesus Christ. That is the second aspect of the mission of the ecclesia over this earth. Can you say praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yesterday we had a wonderful time of um, praise the Lord, outreach ministry. Hallelujah. If God's willing, next year we are planning to go do some ministry in a foreign land. Praise the Lord. If God willing, we are planning to go to Africa sometimes in next year. Hallelujah. Talpiri Ullabar has Stotram. Outreach ministries in there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are planning next year. If God willing, Stotram. Stotra. That is the plan of God about the church. Praise the Lord. The third mission of the church, which the Bible says, not only they praise the Lord, preach the gospel, and Stotra. Ah, not only that, out of Bible Parinu, Artu Parayana, make a disciple of all nations and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. Praise the Lord. Agriyanigil, Stotraham, praise the Lord, edifying the body of Christ is the third mission of the church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse number 11 to it says uh, he himself gave uh, some to the apostles, uh, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and some teachers for equipping of the saints, uh, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. They were Sabe, they were Vilichirik in the Paul. And officers, they were Sabe, they were Thunder Tunda, Apostle and Madam, or Vajan and Parino, Evangelist, Provajak and Madam, Pastors, and the teachers, Praise the Lord, who were the Stak and Madam. And to be the Shusru Shagalum, they were Sabe, Vilipudum board, and they were probably edified each another. Hallelujah, or Sotra Bernat. I don't so that's a pastor, Stotra. I will Stotra make sure all this ministry will happen on this church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And you with the sister who should go to all a balance of China to honor a daughter my diva property. There, the church will equip for the Stotra, equip for the work of the ministry. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That will edify the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Some of you return the law. Stotra. Then I was on the pick in the Nalamate and Chamata point in Vegatil Paranavasani Pigiam. Stotra. The last of the fourth mission of the church. So the church should be a oh, community of fellowship. Praise the Lord. Book of chapter 2, Acts chapter 2, verse number 42 says uh, they devoted themselves uh, to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of the bread and to prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Namade Timile, Namalinga Ditunda, Stotra, community and the loving community. Praise the Lord. Again, fellowshipping community, loving community, hospitality community. And look at the Mukapariam. In the Dabbling and Pariam, this is the four Stotra, the mission of the church. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ipumil, Devan, the Meakivichir, the Akivichir, and the Rudesham. We need to be Stotra, become a fellowship, a loving community. I reckon. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The fifth uh, mission of the church uh, would be Stotra. That same verse says uh, we need to be a prayer. Stotra. 
പ്രീ കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി പ്രീ ദ ലോർഡ് പ്രീസ് ദ ലോർഡ് പ്രീ കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്ന സ്തോത്ര സഭയായി മിസ്തോത്ര എക്ലിസിയായി ഈ ഭൂമിയിൽ നമ്മൾ തുടരുന്നു അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് സെക്കൻഡ് ക്രോണിക്കൽ ചാപ്റ്റർ 16 വേഴ്സ് നമ്പർ 9 ഇപ്രോ ഇക്രി ഇപ്രോ ആരെ പറയുന്നു ഫോർ ദ ഐസ് ഓഫ് ദ ലോർഡ് ഈസ് റൺ ടു ആൻഡ് ഫോർത്ത് സ്തോത്ര ത്രൂ ഔട്ട് ദ ഹോൾ എർത്ത് ടു ഷോ ഹിംസെൽഫ് എബോങ് ഓൺ ബിഹാഫ് ഓഫ് ദോസ് ഹൂസ് ഹാർട്ട് ഈസ് പ്രീസ്ത ലോർഡ് ലോയൽ ടു ഹിം പ്രീസ് ദ ലോർഡ് തന്നിലെ ഗാഗ്രത ചിത്തന്മാർക്ക് വേണ്ടി തന്നത്താൻ ബലവാൻ എന്ന് കാണിക്കേണ്ടതിന് അവന്റെ കണ്ണ് എപ്പോഴും ഭൂമിയിൽ ഊടാടിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് ഇന്ന് രാവിലെ ഞാൻ ഇവിടെ പൂർത്തീകരിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഇപ്രകാരം ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞ് ഈ മിഷൻ ഇന്ന് രാവിലെ പറഞ്ഞ് ഇന്ന് രാവിലെ അവസാനിപ്പിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഫുൾഫിൽ <laughs> we need to be a worshiping community we need to be a witnessing community we need to be a praying community we need to be a loving community praise the lord onnu kodu njan paranjallo we need to be a edifying community if the whole five mission fulfill through our life let me tell you automatically church will grow സഭ വളരാറിട്ട് പിന്നെ ആരുടെ ആവശ്യങ്ങളില്ല ദൈവം സഭ വളർത്തിക്കൊള്ളും ഈ അഞ്ച് കാര്യങ്ങൾ യു നീഡ് ടു മേക്ക് ഷുവർ നോട്ട് എ പാസ്റ്റർ റാദർ ദിസ് ഈസ് അവർ റെസ്പോൺസിബിലിറ്റി ഇന്ന് രാവിലെ എന്നെ കേൾക്കുന്ന ദൈവ മക്കളുടെ ഉത്തരവാദിത്വമാണ് ഈ അഞ്ച് കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഇത് മേക്ക് ഷുവർ ചെയ്യണം അവരുടെ ദൈവ സഭ വളരുവാണ് ഇടിയായിട്ട് ഇൻ കമ്മിങ് ഡേയ്സ് ഐ വിൽ പ്രീച്ച് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ഐഡന്റിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദ ചർച്ച് ആൻഡ് ദ അതോറിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദ ചർച്ച് ബട്ട് ലെറ്റ് മീ ഫിനിഷ് ഓവർ ഹിയർ വി ഹാവ് ecclesia i already said so the meaning of the ecclesia we are the church we are the church of jesus and we have a mission to fulfill what are the missions praise the lord what are the missions praise the lord in the ravile samarpichatte let us commit ourselves in this morning time lord fulfill lord your mission on our life lord because you paid the price for us you purchased us lord you given the last drop of the blood for us lord and thank you lord that you made us your sons and daughters and thank you lord that you made us your ecclesia on this earth lord help us to fulfill your mission on this earth 